choking. It's me. It's okay, we are choking. Okay, so uh, next award on the docket. So we're going Swimmer of the Year for male and female. Now, I'm gonna say some stuff that's probably gonna make you guys cringe here real quick, but I have to give two awards. Er, we have to give two awards out. Ultimately, this wouldn't be a team without every single one of you guys. Um, and you know, at the end of the year, I think this award ends up going to two people who, you know, really kind of just rise above and have really kind of been a focal point for the team over the year. Um, I want you guys to know that each one of you has, has worked extremely hard this year and stepped up in your own ways. And we've had, you know, I feel like we've started to build a relationship with a lot of you guys. Um, but with that, there are two people, one male, one female, we're about to recognize that in every single situation, we were just blown away with how much they stepped up, provided momentum at meets, provided, you know, honestly, a good, a good person to look up to um, in the years to come. So, the male swimmer of the year is somebody who honestly provided us with some of the most entertaining uh, races I think we've ever seen. And my parents were at the Takahomi, which I don't know any of you guys knew this. Um, and I, we were in a lowly little double double nut digit division, um, and so they've never seen anything like a Chesterbrook Takahomi before. And watching this race, my parents said it was probably the craziest race they have ever watched in the MASL. Um, and but it was like that all summer. Is every single race this kid threw down? Every single relay this kid threw down. Um, you know, divisional relays, we were all blown away all of a sudden, you know, 50 times, we're like, eh, okay, that's pretty good. And then it was transcendent of, of what we thought was possible um, for a kid of, of this age. So, Matthew Rose.